he is a leader of light. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, Pius. I have under a lot of pressure because I say we need to balance the gender. So uh, you bear with me, um, you know, our guests. So I want to call Winnie Kaburu to come briefly. Um, then after that, then I will go to the other leaders. Winnie, two minutes. Abarienu, abari kila mtu. Uh, today is a great day. Why? Because, Baba, we are now in Nairobi, not in Meru, where everybody loves you. Now, I am going to say that uh, you are a Linda, who has been a Linda for long, who is loved by everybody. And when I'm standing here, I feel comforted because I know we are not fearing to talk the name of Baba anymore. As we were in NASA, we were so scared when we were going around talking about Baba, asking for votes for NASA because we were looking like outsiders, like outcasts. But look at this. This is wonderful. This is great. Women of Kenya are not scared of talking about Baba. How many women here, how many mothers here are happy that Baba is with us and we are supporting him all the way? Can we give them drink? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo, Amolo Odinga, Your Excellency's Governors, Honorable Members of the Senate, the National and Counter Assemblies, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols of served. And to my relatives from the western side of the mountain, Morega and Oito, Morega and Oito, and where I come from, we say, Mueni and Tuveto, Mueni, Ivo Vereto, good. Now, and Kayenaki, Kendalu, Kindogo. I know I'm betting because I went to school there. Oya ora inya. Oya ora uru. Thank you. My name is Winne Kaburu, Kenya. I was born in the eastern side of the mountain and exported to the western side of the mountain. Where I come from, we are sport with ladies. So I am a daughter of both worlds and also the adopted daughter of the Nyansa because that's why I got my education. I was born to, to a man who loved women as daughters, as wives. Though he is deceased, he men gave me an education, and I'm proud of that. Rather, let me start by congratulating you for not only climbing the mountain, but going around it and enduring yourself to the mountain people. We women on Mount region Join the many other lobby groups, all rooting for Ushindi Wababa. In return, we expect the following Baba. We humbly ask you to listen to the women of Kenya. We have been downtrodden for so long. Our president has helped us. He has given so many positions for women, but we still feel we are safe in your hands, Baba. Women of Kenya, have suffered, but when we see the way you treat your queen, Mama Haida, we feel that you love women. How many of these men here can just say what Baba says to his queen? Honey, I love you. In front of the camera, in front of the whole world, that is what Baba considers for women. He loves us, and for that, we are happy that we are safe in his hands. I know I don't have a lot of time to talk, but I will just have to say a few things because I have written my speech, but I can see two men, two men, the lender and the gentleman want me to finish. I will talk about agriculture because agriculture, where I come from, is the most important thing. The coffee, I can.
You can see our minister here, who is doing very well for the coffee and the tea industry. We would like Baba the industry and make sure that whatever it has been started continues when I am the president. Secondly, is the issue of, uh, of, uh, of uh, positions in the government and in politics as well. When you look at our range on Mount Kenya, we are well educated. But when it comes to politics, we are kind of left out because either of culture or something else. Baba, please, when you come, remember us so that we have also positions both politically and even in your government. Finally, Father, my Baba, I would like to say something about peace and security for women. When there is, there is war or when there is people are fighting, it's the women who suffer most. And we don't want to suffer. From the time you had the handshake with our president, you made sure that there is no fighting, there is no sitting on the streets, there are no railways which are being pulled out, and we are so happy about that. So we know we are safe with you. Thank you, Father. My father, Father, our Father, our Baba is all the same. Thank you. We would Thank like you, to Winnie. say something more. Right. Lastly, may I just say this, please? There is, we are having the issue of, uh, of youth, mental problems, um, a lot of fighting because of poverty from the area I come from. If I don't talk about what we produce, I come from. The Mira, thank you, Winnie. So uh, we we will take you. your, you Pray know, your, I will not be talking. Yeah, you let's know clap how much for Winnie. People like you are in Meru, your speech. Ilare, so remember the Mira and you get us market for it. Thank, thank you very you. much. I'll, I'll give you my speech. Right, that, give it to us. We'll make sure that it gets to Baba. It's also be within the Mount Kenya Foundation, you know, uh, uh, list of things to hand over. Thank you. Uh, at this juncture, I want to invite uh, the leader of the majority in the House to come and um, introduce the members of Parliament who are here and, um, you know, give apologies of the ones who are not here and then be able, you know, to progress. You please bear with me on protocol issues. It's only I want to make our program flow. So, you know, uh, you bear with me. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Titus, uh, our chief guest, Honorable uh, Prime Minister Raila Odinga. I'll be very brief. I do recognize who are supposed to have ended at three, and uh, uh, Honorable Raila Odinga is, has another engagement. And uh, today really was not a day of speeches. It's a lunch. That was my understanding. We've done these lunches, we've done these meetings, we've gone around the country, and today was really a culmination for us as Mount Kenya to show our solidarity with uh, Baba, Jacob, and show to what extent we have internalized his Azimio philosophy. And I believe that's why we are here today. So, uh, before to my comments, I know we have Parliament is on recess, uh, so agents uh, or people in Arusha for the East Africa Games, there are others in the constituencies. But I would like to just ask those who are here from both Senate and uh, National Assembly to please uh, rise. I know it has been read out before so we can recognize you. Uh, please, if you could uh, just stand. I can see, I can see some assisted thing. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I just want you to, uh, people of Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. I want you to recognize this group specifically. We can say so many things here, we can do so many things, so many aspirations. But until all these things they are doing are translated into law in Parliament, they mean nothing. And the people who have that responsibility is your members of Parliament. <coughs> there are things we take for granted. 
And I know, and I was speaking on behalf of the members of parliament, the government, until we appropriate money to them, they cannot do anything. The business community is here until we create that business, that conducive business environment through the law, you are going nowhere. So I want us to give some special recognition to these members of parliament. As we are speaking today, there are some critical bills, and I was just talking to my colleague in Senate, the Honorable Rengo. These members of parliament who have to sacrifice their holidays to come back to parliament to pass some laws to facilitate some of the things we are aspiring here to do. So, talk to your member of parliament nicely. Honorable Jeanette, is that true? Talk to your member and whichever constituency you come from. When we can call them to come for a special sitting, let them be there so that we can fast track some of the laws that we need to push some of this agenda we have here and others forward. And I think that's why my special appeal to you is that. Be that as it may, I think Mount Kenya, for once, we don't have a candidate. We had working people. We are agrarian, we are business people, we need our interests taken care of. And we walked this journey together with Baba, and through the Azimio, through the journey we've gone through, is we believe our interests are safe. However, I want to ask ourselves, I sent you first to go and talk to your members of parliament. And I want to be very candid here. As the people of Mount Kenya, your interests will not be safeguarded alone. He will have many competing interests to safeguard and to talk about. Your interests will be safeguarded by the voice, by the command you have in both the National Assembly and in the Senate. I'm talking about this experience from what we go through with Honorable Junette, what we go through with Honorable Orengo, as we are trying to marshal people together to support the government. So I want to appeal to you that let's unite together. I know we have, I know we'll be split, I know we have so many independents, but we have our voting block together so that as we go to parliament, we can have a solid block of voters for Mount Kenya that we can then say we will support the agenda of Baba together and we will also protect the interests of Mount Kenya together. If we don't do that, we will be back to where we have been in the past. And I don't want to go there. So Baba, I want to congratulate you. Uh, when you start, many people Expected that you'll be asking His Excellency the President to take you to Mount Kenya. Introduce you to the people of Mount Kenya. You, tell, you told the people, I have friends in Mount Kenya, I'll go to Mount Kenya on my own. You've gone to Mount Kenya, you've been welcomed, you've sailed the mountain, you've gone around, and you have made even many more friends in the limited time that you've gone there. So let those who thought you are going to be escorted so that they could say your project, now know you manage it on your own. And you have won many, many friends. And we shall be there with you. We believe that the Azimio movement dovetails with our own interests, creating that environment for us to do business. Jacob, 
we will be there with you as you come to the climax of the Azimio movement. I want to encourage you it's time the time is now right for you to make your candidature so that we can now move life to the next level. So we can go looking for votes now go looking for votes for you rather than just promoting as on Friday. Take as a meal movement to the next level and we will let all those who will be there support you so that we can now have come out of Friday, we will have a candidate, a presidential candidate, not just the promoter of the Azimio Foundation. So that all these memoranda that we are giving you, we will now be giving you as a presidential candidate. And I think that is what we will be asking. We will support you from Parliament. We will support you in the grassroots as we move forward in that direction. Because we believe we will be safe in your hands. My colleagues, I know some of you are scheduled to talk, but because of the time, I believe it has had to be reorganized. I look forward to seeing you on the 21st and the 22nd so that we can pass some very critical bills that will be part of moving this forward. Thank you. Did I say more? Thank you. To you have one? Let's try with Ania. Yeah. Let's try with Ania. We have the job of the people here. No, no, we have to go out to the Hamway, we have to go to the Hamway, we have to go to the Hamway, we have to go to the Hamway, kwa toki ya tumawadho tureda ndiyo doa otu walidia wero na na abere kayamura adhime god bless you thank you very much mwashimu wa pati i mean linda of the majority in the nation assembly at this juncture i want to call the executive the executive is most strong